Well, I was driving around looking for some restaurants and all of a sudden I noticed this place. And this totally looks like a dump. And then on the other side of the street as well. Yeah, we definitely have to come back here tomorrow and check it out. Okay, we're creek walking. It's an interesting looking creek. I don't even know where we are. I kind of got lost, but I saw this creek and I think it has potential, but it's kind of on the outskirts of town. There should be something someplace over here. I'll tell you, this town has so many interesting areas, so many ravines and so many creeks. It's going to take forever to look at them all. I think all of them are going to have dumps too, because this town was actually quite large in 1909. This is kind of an odd creek. It has a bend right here. Pretty strong bend. Hmm. I wonder if there's gonna be anything here because I'm not really seeing any glass at all. Well, we got to a deep part and uh, I can't go around because there's a circle wall here. And anyway, I'm quitting with this one. Let me get into an area that is more productive. Well, there's one piece of glass here. Yeah, it looks pretty old. And here's an old thing. Uh, I don't remember what these are called, but uh, it goes to a horse. I'm pretty sure. So that's kind of interesting. But uh, I guess I'm not going to bring it back with me. It's too rusty. Entering another creek here in Gaffney. Okay, this one's going to produce something. All right, right off the bat we got a sarsaparilla bottle. The like I've never seen. Well, of course it's only half of one. But that is definitely turn of the century. And right here we have a crock. And right here we have a bottle. Hmm. Yeah, this is the place. And of course a lot of bricks. So we got to look closely because there's going to be some bottles in here. Hmm, how to get through this. Well, we were off to a good start, but... Hmm, the last hundred feet hasn't produced anything. Okay, that looks pretty old. And of course we got a top of jug. And a 1920s bottle. Maybe 1919. Okay, there's a soda works and here's another soda. Hmm, so we're starting to get back into it. There's a screw top flask. There's another soda top.
Hmm, it's weird how there will be a bunch of stuff and then a hundred feet will go by with nothing. Hmm, I just don't get it. Okay, there's a this little Mountain Dew bottle. Okay, that looks interesting. Oh, it's a straight side of Coke, but it's an older variety than those ones we were finding yesterday. This is probably around 1910. But there's very few bottles intact here. Maybe somebody has walked this creek already. Well, with the amount of plants in the way, there couldn't have been any time in the last year or two. Well, well, I just walked another section of the creek. I didn't bring my camera this time. And this is what I found. It's an embossed, blown in a mold medicine bottle. It's a hard one to access. Well, we got another one of those. So I'm not even going to take that one. Hmm. Well, I can't really go that way, so... Oh my god, I found a big chief. It's intact. And it's from Gaffney. That is a rare bottle. Yet another creek to walk. Well, I walked about 150 feet and I found a broken insulator, so at least there's that. But it's very little glass. Well, just as I said that, I found this. That is a tool top. Hmm, that looks very interesting. It looks like it has a green tint to it. But it can't really be green. It's pretty much aqua, but it's a straight side of coke, and that is a good sign. Okay, here's our first bottle. Fairly common, but sometimes they sell for five dollars. Miniature Noxzema. So many rocks, it's hard to distinguish the difference between rocks and bottles sometimes. So I gotta slow down. Okay, well, it's been about 200 feet since I found a bottle and uh, a Pepsi bottle. Some people would get excited about that, but hmm, not me. It's only from the 1950s. It 
it's quite a sparse creek but some glass has hung up on the rocks yeah a lot of glass wow some glass is showing up anyway There's so much to look at over here Well, I'll turn the camera on when I find something. Okay, I finally found something. Well, it's broken, but... Hmm, a screw top, but it's a very early screw top. It's at least 100 years old. And then we got a broken Vix. Well, we must be getting close to some houses because the glass is starting to pick up. Oh, wow. I never noticed this on the way over here. But there's a Gaffney Pepsi bottle, an old scripted one, not just a block printed one. And over here is another soda, it's a Coca-Cola. Hmm, now I gotta look harder. What would those have been doing there? Okay, we're coming back to the starting point and now we're gonna go on to the other side. The other side seems like it's gonna be much better. Hmm. And we got a piece of a straight side of coke. I like those. Okay, now we got a piece of a purple soda. Well, slightly. So, uh, that's going to be about 1910. Well, I went creek walking again without the camera. I found this Edston Rail. I don't know if that's considered to be from this town of Gaffney, but it could be valuable. Okay. We're trying another creek. Okay, now this is going to be a good creek. A lot of old houses are near here. We found one. Patented December 25th, 1923. So that's a pretty good one. And it's from Gaffney. So Gaffney Christmas Coke. I don't know how good that is, but I'll assume it's a pretty good one. Well, I just walked at least a hundred yards without finding anything, but now that looks like a Jojo flask, which is probably a dispensary. Over here's another piece of a bottle, a blown in a mold soda. Hmm, I don't know why those just happen to be right there when so many hundreds of yards went by without me finding anything. Okay, trying yet another creek. I don't know how many creeks there are in this town, but I guess this is about the last one. Yeah, this is a nice sized creek. It's manageable. And there's not a bunch of plants in the way either. But is there any bottles in here? There are some houses really close to here that are from 1909. There's one ACL that lost his paint, but it's almost worth keeping, but uh, I guess I'll leave it. Okay, what do we got here? It's obviously modern. It's got this dimple in it, and it means it's from the 70s, maybe the 60s. Well, that's it. I've had enough creek walking because it's not producing very much results, so 
I'm off to the dump. The 1916 to 1926 dump. It's not that great, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> 